A new and mysterious interstellar object has entered our solar system and it's got scientists very excited. Say hello. What is it? We're not quite sure. It's only the third time that it's happened, so very rare occurrence indeed. Massey University's Dr Preeti Cowan is at the desk to help us explain. Good morning. University. Oh, you're at Auckland <laughs> University. Forgive me. Where in the gal galactical world are you? Um, good to have you at our desk anyway. Thank you for having me. Um, so please tell me, what are we looking at here? What, what are those images that we're seeing? So what we're seeing is a new object, which is an asteroid. So a sort of asteroid-sized asteroid or a comet in our solar system. But the main thing about it is that it's from outside of our solar system. So it was actually born in some other solar system in our galaxy. It was kicked out of that solar system, and now it is, by a happy miracle, going through our own solar system. So we have a really unique opportunity to study something that's from an alien world. I mean, we don't, going to alien worlds is not really feasible for us. They're too far away. But here, we have something that's come in to say hello, so we can have a look to see what other planetary systems look like. How far has it traveled? We don't know. How, what's the, how far is the end of our solar system? Oh, I mean, it would, it would have been, it could have been travelling for millions, possibly billions of years. Okay. So a very long time. How do we know it's not from our solar system? We, we know because it's really fast. It is going at something like 60 kilometres per second, which is really, really fast for an object. And we're slow, our stuff is slow. Yeah, so anything, everything, so the speed of the object depends on where it is in the solar system. So the further out it is, the slower it moves. So this thing is near Jupiter at the moment. We wouldn't really expect to see something going that fast near Jupiter. It would be half or possibly that slower than that itself. So it's to, for something to be going that fast, it's interesting. What exactly is it? Is it? What is it made up of? We don't know quite yet. So this is part of what we'll be doing next, is actually starting to find out what it is composed of, because obviously we're really interested in knowing is it, does it look like the asteroids in our solar system? You know, does it have water? You know, does, it, does it have the hydrocarbons? All the, all the things that make up life. Because in the end, we want to find ourselves in space, right? So this is one small, tiny piece of the puzzle that's going to tell us, well, does other things in the galaxy, do they form the same way we do? You know, is there a possibility of life wherever this thing came from? You know, so it's, 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 it's interesting. Will we get a chance to, you know, shoot it down or jump on the back of it, take a few tests, lab tests, and see what's in it? We won't get to shoot it down, <laughs> which is nice. It'll keep going where it's going. Uh, probably say hello to other solar systems at some point. Um, it would be great if we could go to it. Um, and this is actually something that the European Space Agency does actually want to do. So they're planning a mission called Convert Interceptor. Their idea is they're sort of going to be parked somewhere out in space. So when they, we spot an object like this, it can go and intercept it and kind of follow its path through the solar system so we can find out more about it as it's moving through. Has this happened before? So we've had two interstellar objects that have come in before. Um, the first one was in 2017. It was quite small. We saw it as it was leaving, so we didn't have a lot of chance to look to actually study it. Um, the second one was uh, 2019. It was actually found by an amateur astronomer, so that's, that's really cool. Um, this was, so the second one was Borisov. It was very comet-like, um, you know, so it had like the big coma and the tail and going, going through. Uh, it was really exciting. It was great to study it. But since then, this is the first one we've spotted uh, in six years. Wow. Uh, why, why do we see so few of them? Is, or are we seeing more of them because we have better, you know, cameras and we're able yeah. telescopes and stuff? Yeah. So that's, that's part of it. I mean, these things are rocks, right? They're faint. They don't emit their own light. They only reflect light. So a lot, of, a lot of how we can see it depends on how much light they're reflecting, how big they are, you know, do they have... Uh, comets tend to be quite bright, for example, because they have the huge kind of fuzzy uh, shroud of, like, dust and ice all around them, which this one does, which this one does look like a little bit of a right. comet. And, um, what happens if... I mean, are there bits of our... breaking off from our solar system that are then floating through others? Yes. Right, yes, so there, are. Uh, there could be a whole bunch of people at a different... Yeah. Herald Now studio having the same conversation yep. about a, a faster-moving piece of rock going yep. through their sky. Yes, and they'll be saying, where did it come from? What's it made of? Are those people like us? How funny. Yeah. And this one will just keep going to the next... It, it's just going to keep going. It's going to leave our solar system probably sometime either late next year or a few after. We won't be able to see it for as it gets further out in the outer solar system, mainly because it's going to get fainter as it goes away. But we'll be able to see it for a few months, which is exciting. 
or we'll find out what we can, and then it's goodbye. Fascinating. Mm. Absolutely fascinating. Can't see it through the human eye. No. No, too small. No, too small. Um, Preeti, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Great to have you here. That's Preeti Cowan with us, Auckland University. Was it Auckland University? Yeah, it was Auckland University. Great. Good to have you here.